Slab City, also called the Slabs, is an unincorporated off-the-grid alternative lifestyle community located in the Sonoran Desert in Imperial County, California. The Slabs was originally a World War II Marine Camp training base. The base was used for three years during the war. As the years went on, usage of the base became less and less, so by 1956 all buildings were dismantled, leaving only the Slabs behind. Hence the name Slab City. Slab City is widespread on about 640 acres of public land. Population is seasonal, about 4,000 during the winter and about 150 in the summer. The slabs were first settled by veterans who worked at the base, later followed by drifters, then RV owners looking for free camping spots outside of Palm Springs. Me and German in Venice did a whole video, a whole two-part video actually on Slab City. It's on my other channel, J Maxius. If you want to go check it out, it's right over there. But in this video right here, we wanted to kind of walk around and interview some of the people that live there just to show you the living conditions and how the overall uh, aesthetic of how they live and where they live actually looks. So, uh, yeah, buckle in, stay tuned and check out the video. And if you want to check out the other video, it's located on my other channel, J Maxis. All right, let's go right on in. Uh-uh. I don't think he likes me to go over there. <laughs> Uh-oh. Hey, buddy. Stop right there. Stop. Are you a happy dog or like a mean dog here, huh? You just want to get pet? There we go. Look at you. There we go. There we go. There we go. You're a good boy. Makes it safe because somebody knows him. All right, I'm here at Slab City with Jack, and he has a cat rescue. Oh, you I, okay. did, I got enough solar power to run AC about nine hours a day. All right, but I didn't always have it that way. Um, it was rough. I used to have a spray bottle and a couple 12 volt fans. Okay. Yeah. Are you rescue cats? Yeah, or? rescue cats, and I got art. And a little hookah lounge library inside. Oh, yeah. I'm working on my signs. That's why I painted over some of them. I've got to redo this one. It's one of my favorite sayings. And I've got a cat rescue and a little art gallery of my French tree art. So watch out, Maggie Mae. I haven't got it all complete, but it's under construction. Oh, wow. Um, okay. This is what I got so far up. A koi fish. And um, I should plug in my pond. This is Jack, longtime resident of Slab City. He was so awesome and cool. He gave us a tour of his place and gave us the lowdown about the place. So, uh, yeah, check him out on his YouTube channel, Slab City Jack. Awesome guy. I have a pond with a fountain squirting up, but I got the water oh, turned right. off. All right, I got the water turned off now, but it squirts water up and there's LED lights. More art here, art here. Man, you live here with your dogs? Yeah, hey, I got three dogs and seven cats. <laughs> and uh, here's my... Library hookah lounge. This oh. is where I chill out. Sometimes in the evenings, this is, uh, these little solar lights come on automatically because they're on a little solar panel. So I got one hookah station here. I got one in here. And of course, I got a lot of books. And you live here by yourself? I live here by myself. Yes. You don't miss it to be under people. Like, I've, I'm living in Venice Beach and I love it. I have thousands and thousands of people. I lived in downtown San Francisco okay. for a, a solid 12 years before I moved here and the Bay Area in general most of my life. Really crowded. Um, I came down here as an experiment just to hang out. I didn't mean to stay here this long. Okay. I was going to stay one year, go back, clean myself up, put my resume back out. I didn't look like this, by the way. Uh -huh. I didn't quite look like this, but uh, this was I just couldn't go back. I like the freedom. I like the no rent. Um, I run off solar power. I got my own uh, composting toilet. Um, How do you get water though? I have, uh, in Slab City, we have a lot of entrepreneurs out here. I've got a buddy. He has a little water service. He sends, he, I got a water tank, a hundred gallon tank. Okay. 25 bucks, hundred gallons delivered. Cool. All Good right. friend of mine. Yeah. Then I got a shower tank that's 300 gallons. I can get that filled for 40 bucks. So it's not bad. I can make a hundred gallons last a month. And I, to be honest with you, when I first came here, I'm, I'm a little bit worried that people are gonna be like 
Is it dangerous to come here or not? What do you no, think? No, 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 no. You want to step up back aside? It's yeah, a little sure. warm in here. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's not dangerous in here. So on the internet, it'll make you think it's dangerous. And maybe 10 years ago when I first moved here, it was a little bit more Wild West-ish, you know? Okay. But we're kind of gentrified now. This place is... Uh, it's harmless. Everybody out here is friendly. So you and don't mind. You don't mind if people come here and talk to you. No, and say, as a hey. matter of fact, you're asking me if I do miss people. I don't miss people at all because I got the whole world coming here. Okay. I got you here. Um, I had a uh, BBC crew here. I've had people from Japan to Brazil here, um, Australia, uh, New York City, Montana. So I got tourists all the time coming here. All so right. I, I I hang out and talk to a tourist all day. As a matter of fact. I haven't hung out in Slab City since 2017. I have I don't leave my camp for this road. Really? This is my camp. That trailer over there is my guest camp. I don't know if you got when you first pulled up. That's my guest trailer over there. Okay. So I've got a big spread here. But I've got a lot of tourists coming by all the time. So I got plenty of people to chat with all day. No, I got projects to build. I'm building my I appreciate it, man. My name is Slab City Jack. Slab City, one word, Jack. And uh, it's about my life out here. And I just started it in 2020, mainly out of boredom. And you'll see, um, there's no editing on my videos. I just point and shoot it myself and post it. Yeah. But it's about my life out here and what I think about life out here. All right. And I've got a pond that I'm draining to reclean it. But this hay bale wall here. I'm going to dip sheets in concrete and drape them over it. It's going to be a thermal mask to keep the summer sun off my rig. Mm. And then back here, and this is a mess back here, but what I got going back here is uh, I'm hollowing out these hay bales. I'm going to start growing my own food. Right now i got cauliflower starts. i got some in that bale already. This is my palm. It's really crappy right now, but on my website you'll see how nice it is. <laughs> I made a video when I first made it. Right now I'm draining it down because I want to clean it out and put more cool rocks in the bottom of it and fill it up again. But the fountain shoots the water up about this high. And like I said, you got to visualize fruit and vegetables growing out of these hay bales. So. And is there any problems with the government coming by or police? Or That's something like what that? I like about this place. True freedom. Everybody leaves you alone. You can do what you want. So how this place works is you come here, you find you a spot no one's got throw your stuff down, put your border up of tires, bottles, rocks, whatever you want. That's magical your space. Now you can do whatever you want in it and no one shows up to bug you. You can do what you want in your own space in Slab City. It's like true freedom. It's kind of like, you know, in the wild west when people used to just like take a piece of land, stake it and develop it, do what they want, live their life. And that's what we're doing. So we're running on solar panels. I got 2000 watts of power, so I'm running an AC refrigerator, swamp cooler, freezer, all kinds of LED lights, water pumps. I got and plenty of power. Where did you drive that big uh, I RV didn't drive from? this, you believe didn't. it or not. I lived here uh, five years and one day my friend says, hey Jack, there's this RV on Craigslist you might want to get. I go, why is that? It goes, well, it's from New Hampshire. The couple blew the motor up about a hundred miles from here and they're trying to sell it where oh. it's at and everything inside works. Like all the plugs, <laughs> the AC, Everything works but the motor. So I went, gave him a grand, and then my friend had AAA, so we towed it here for free. So it's like a tiny house for a grand. Because I was gonna build a tiny house, much cheaper. And there's, uh, That's all my solar. Solar power. Yeah. You got plenty of sun here, right? Plenty of sun. Does it get cold here? At night, in the winter time, it gets in the low 30s. But in the summertime, it'll cool down to about 100 at night, 104. But, uh. I like it overall. I like the wide open space. I, I, I kind of like this desert. I didn't think I'd like the desert, but I do. Well, I like Venice Beach though. I, I, I love really, Venice I Beach really as well. I really love yeah. Venice Beach. So you've I probably really seen do. all the homeless encampments that used to have in Venice. You know, yeah. And you know, uh, someone from LA, a time, LA Times reporter came out here about five years ago to interview, uh, to look around about the homeless situation out here. And I just laughed at her. I said, there's no homeless in Slab City. Everybody has a home. Even if it's a tarp set up underneath a tree, if there's a border around it, that's somebody's home. Okay. I live in the only community where we don't have one single homeless person nowhere here. I, I defy you to try to find a homeless person. 
Everybody has a home here. I'm laughing because you remind me of uh, what's his name from the Playboy Mansion, the hat you wearing. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, um, yeah, I was telling people like homeless people say they come here and they go, I go, hey, what are you doing here? And they go, oh, I'm homeless. I go, well, find you a spot and build you a home, yeah. and you're not home. You ever heard of a comedian named Mitch Hedberg? No. R.I.P. Great guy. He had this joke saying, um, if you're ever lost in the woods, build a house. Then you're not lost. Right. <laughs> All right. I love your dogs. You want to Yep, around, that's uh, the, the black one is Lucy Lou. The white one is Maggie Mae. And the brown one's Marty the Party. That's why he's barking. He's just trying to start a party everywhere he goes. There you go. And Lucy Lou, she's just a big baby dog. Yeah, no barking yet. No be barking. quiet. No barking. Marty, be quiet. And then Maggie Mae, she's an old lady. Perfect right now. We got, um, we get five months of this, you know? And then five months of just a brutal heat I wouldn't wish on anyone. We're talking 125 Fahrenheit. Wow. Easily. Easily. Triple digits for about 10, 15 weeks straight. And you actually know your neighbor? I know everyone. Uh, I know the Flamingo camp. They might be a little camera shy over there. It's uh -huh. a transgender camp. House of Dots, she's super friendly. If she's up and around, right before East Jesus is uh -huh. House of Dots. Mm -hmm. And then, I don't know if you guys have ventured far enough, but East Jesus is at the end. And they're not really technically Slab City. They're a corporation, a nonprofit out of LA. And different artists from outside the area come and create art out of garbage. It's pretty cool, but... Yeah. Sometimes they're not so friendly, but uh, <laughs> but um, yeah, I probably have people with cameras come back and say, "Wow, those people aren't friendly." So I don't know. It's give and take. No, yeah, you're right. But uh, Dot, she's really friendly. She's a character, and she's got a rabbit hole of a camp. If you ask her <laughs> to show you around her camp, you're gonna be twisting and turning through RVs and old buses. Okay. Yeah. Well, I really appreciate you talking to me, showing yeah, me around, man. It's I appreciate like, you coming makes out. Makes it so much better. Even the viewers right here, I think they would, you know, they want to know what it's like to live here, you know. And and they I'd can. like to tell the viewers that if you know, a lot of internet stories say uh, we're scary, and uh, we're not. We like tourists for the most part. I mean, you know, every in every community you got a couple of bad people. So you know, but they don't really mix it up with the tourists. So if a tourist comes out here, the chances are you see someone smile and wave. They're gonna smile and wave back. All if right. you stop and talk to them, they'll engage you in conversation. All right. Yeah. And there he is, out of weed. I, you want a true story about that? <laughs> I haven't been out of weed since I put that sign up. <laughs> I was out of weed at one time. And the, 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 where I buy weed, there's no way to get weed. So I seen these tourists driving by, LA, San Diego tourists. <laughs> I'm like, wow, they look like they smoke. So I put the sign up one day and it worked. People just stopped and started handing me joints. So I thought, why well, put the sign down now, right? It's yeah, worked yeah. every since. I've got three kinds of weed right now in my house. All right. People just keep stopping and giving me weed. I, right. I mean, I will be out of weed one day, I guess. <laughs> okay. Appreciate you talking to me. Really cool guy, man. I appreciate it. Jack, we're just gonna keep walking. Yeah, keep on walking down, I like it. I said. So how you guys doing? We finally found Dots. Okay, this is Miss Dots. And I'm telling you right now, she has one of the most electric, zany, creative personalities of anyone we met at Slab City. And when I say creative, that is a total understatement. Her place is like a maze. It's like falling down the rabbit hole in Alice in Wonderland and going through the, the most craziest things you've ever seen. Her place definitely rivals that. Hello. We hear you're the resident. Uh, the House of Dots. Yes, every yeah. you. Oh yeah, she does have a maze. See, he was right. It even says, "Look, a maze in art." <laughs> I like the play on words there. See, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Mike, are you this exhausted? I'm that exhausted. Well, how about you guys come in here and go inside and show us around? Hello, little cutie. Let's see here. in there? Yeah, go in there. There you go. Sweet. Dot's place looks pretty cool. Yeah? What? Art? She's so welcoming. I like her already. Like the cat does. That's super cool. Gigantic spider. Do you have arachnophobia? No. So did you come up inside of the skeleton area? Um, 
I didn't know how far I should go, so I just... Go all the way up inside that trailer if you want to. Yeah? All right. Cool. We're allowed to. And she has a piano. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 Ooh. Oh. What are you guys doing now? Um, yeah, he's looking at us. I'm sorry, buddy. It's not my fault. But I don't eat meat anymore, so we're good. As long as you don't start moving. Uh, this guy must have showered too long because when you shower really long, your skin becomes really uh, soft. So, all right. I see. Hey, mom, what have you been with YouTuber? What are you asking for? For stuff you already know the answers to? Mmm, a Ouija board. Yeah, I'm scared of those. I'm scared of those. Right, the piano. Did yeah, I say it's actually her? an organ? It does play, but a couple of the little keys don't. They kind of don't work that well. So. This is and so it's electric, so. It's electric. Drums or, um, you know, a guitar or any string instrument besides one that pianos don't normally need electricity. Gotcha. Yeah, you want to see like the rest of the place? Get way off of the yes, yes. Kitchen, but it's a disaster. Like most kitchens. Well, kitchen island, All right. We're going to get your cabinet. Uh oh, personal tour. Adam West, Batman. There you go. I think there's a few Batmans, right? Yeah, like there's... The Adam West version of it, though. I that, mean, I yeah, that. iconic. And what's funny is... Look at my shirt. <laughs> dun, 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 <laughs> Detective Comics. You would think I'm into Batman. I'm just saying, you got the whole league on your on, on your shirt. <laughs> don't hit your head. Well, don't no, worry, not that tall. <laughs> so the pool just flew its way in here. It was underneath the RV. I see. Summertime's coming. It's just a reminder. That's where the chickens were sleeping for a minute. Okay. They've moved on since then. On the other, other side of my house. But yeah, so this is my um, human evolution. I see. So we were what? We were this oh, first. So. <laughs> and then we got to that. Then we're going to eventually really? become that. No, it's more this. So we started as a three-eyed, two-faced monster. Uh -huh. And then we moved into... It was kind of like a, a unisex, asexual. So this was... These could impregnate... And be impregnated. Each other. Yeah. And gotcha. eventually they decided that it was, we needed males and females, probably mm -hmm. to like protect the young and that type of thing. But the third eye moved into the center and some became males and some became females. And then eventually we migrated and or into, mutated. Into whatever into we are now. And the males. Well, now it seems that we might be moving back to this. If if you lived where I lived, you'd understand. Yeah, it seems like it. I mean in a way. We're not gonna get into all. All right. I see you uh you trapped Zombie some of the apocalypse. You trapped some of the yeah. Some no, humans. I didn't. I didn't do that. You didn't trap just, them. Nope. They just became that way all on their own. I see. You leave them in the cage long enough, they mutate that I way. See, she's, <laughs> she's, she's still freaking out right but there. But this guy's gonna shoot her just in case. He's like, I don't know, man. You may have the disease that caused this whole problem. That's so probably we're what just happened. gonna shoot you, <laughs> even if you might be okay. No antibodies here. All right, the library. Well, and we just swapped the carpet out. We're putting a new carpet in, so it's a little disheveled at the moment. But I you see. You can step up in there. And All right, the library. Right. The library. Yes, it's like a uh, Hogwarts in here. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Yeah. All right. I love it. You have. Wow, you really still have books. I do. People don't have books anymore. So true. This is the person who gave them to me is like, you can sell books. I'm like, I kind of don't think anybody who still reads buys books. Weirdos like me buy books because they're old. Like, well, I'll that's... be like, what's the oldest book you have in your book that's store? Not, that's not weird. That's authentic. Exactly. That's what that is. Oftentimes you get some pretty cool books. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah, we should probably discuss this. Okay. He doesn't want to see the rest of this. This is the taxidermy dinner party. Is that what that is? Yeah. So this is Young Buck, Uncle Buck, and Grandma Buck. And so Young Buck likes to brag about, like, see, he's got this nice tequila bottle. Uh -huh. bottle that was made. Well, who knows what was in there? So he likes to brag about shooting the humans who are just, like, filling up their gas or whatever stupid asses. And he's just hiding behind a tree. It's like deer with guns. 
They don't even see it coming, man. They're just filling up their... Yeah. And this one's like, do we really have to talk about how graphic and violent you have to kill them? We can ethically resource them from the human trafficking and drug rings. We don't have to do it. So, abruptly. and then grandma, obviously, there's, I don't care. Just put that meat on the table. I'm so old, I don't care. <laughs> but yeah, it's deer with guns. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah, okay. and so we come over here. If you get in the right like angle, this looks amazing, which is the fawns. So my friend likes to paint pop culture artists. The fawns. Real realistic, surreal kind of way. All right. 1951 Greyhound bus. I walked by this. What is this, a, a shop? Because you have it, so much clothes in there. It's a boutique. It's a boutique. Sneak inside of it. Mm. Would you like to sneak inside of it? I might want to see what yeah. the vintage boutique. Step on up in there. Check okay, because I like it's neglected so it going that way. <laughs> Dun, dun, dun. Wow. W were these like this here already or did you? Yeah, those are the handrails that come standard in your 1951 Greyhound bus. <laughs> okay, I, I, I started to think that, like, was this made Isn't for clothing? This is the most amazing closet ever made. Yes, like, it is. I, I don't even, I think I got a better deal on this than I would have a custom made closet in my house that I owned back in the day. You Let's do a catwalk on the catwalk, on the catwalk. Okay, I totally had to do that. <laughs> Isn't it the best? Oh my gosh. Wow, there's so much clothing in there. Yeah, 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 yeah. So when I want to find something to wear, it's not too hard. You sure? Because it looks like, here. it looks like that, uh, that, 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 it's fun. Yeah. Yeah. I like to go on little trips and stuff every so once in a while and, you know, grab a few little showcase pieces. Godfather That's of Soul. Fun. Yep. So, like I said, Honor likes to pick pop culture icons that kind of have had some sort of meaning in some way. Whether their iconic representation was good or bad. Mm -hmm. You know, because I don't know. The Fonz is like such a weird one. And then you have James Brown. So yeah. it's like kind of, hey! How'd you hear about the chickens? Jack. <laughs> Jack. Jack. Jack of all trades. He knows everything. I came out to give you my condolences. Oh, what happened to the chicken? Chicken's dead. Oh. It's Heather number three, man. We named him after the, the movie Heathers. And I don't know if the last one dies in the movie, but it did this yeah. time. <laughs> that was sad. It's okay. But I need another one. Well, actually, we saved Heather's last egg. And we'll see if we get a baby chick. Yeah. That's still bullshit because that is his fucking dog. Oh, Dude, we that's what we talk about. It. Pink is like ready to shoot it. It's like kill on sight right now. Oh, over there. I'm gonna okay. put that in your hand. Thank you. You are awesome. Your energy, <laughs> your energy is the best. Sorry. Sorry to hear you about. want to stick around for a minute or no? Maybe. Yeah, yeah you I got a minute, see. right? Yeah, this one's finishing up. Yeah. Is over. Sweet. Look. Over. That's gonna, awesome. Okay. She has great I'm energy. Like Slapsley City is the ish. Yeah, that yeah, is. This is the place. And man, I'll, I will definitely come back one day. All right? When I get a chance to drive all the way back over here because it was like three hours. So. Where are you from? <laughs> well, I'm from Florida. Oh, shit. That's way more than three hours. Yeah, but then, you know, I was in, you know, time you know, I'm now in LA and so I can do that. Ooh. Yeah. Two hour. more left. The other one's gone. Like two and a half hours to San Diego, but it's actually three hours to San Diego, and it's almost like four hours to LA, but everybody says it's three hours to LA and two and a half to San Diego. It's like three and a half hours to LA. Yeah, we're going to drive all the way Yeah, especially the traffic time. <laughs> all right. Well, I bid thee farewell. Thank you for giving my friend water, and he walked all the way to the car, but yeah. I have the key, yeah, so man, he's going to just be standing by the door. Keys, bro! I need <laughs> <laughs> ah. Alright, so here's a card if you want to keep up with me on um I do have social like, medias yeah, and stuff. Some stuffs. Yep. I don't know if you can whoop, whoop. For those of you that hold up, let me put that in the camera. That's right. If you want to follow her, you can because she's awesome. YouTube. She's a great she's human being energy. with she's with done. so much energy and great vibes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you.
Nice to meet you. You too. It's Jerry, by the way. Nice to meet you, Jerry. All right, Dots. That's, yep. Bye, Kitty. Bye, Kitty. <laughs> See you later, man. Thank you. All right, bye. Let's go. She was awesome. She was awesome. Anyway, it's been a while since I've seen you guys. Please, if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel. Uh, you leave a like for the video, all right? I'll see you guys in the next one. That was Slab City. All right, peace, chicken, or the other rooster. See you guys. Peace.